Meet Stanley Kubrick, a legendary film director who left an indelible mark on the movie industry. Born in 1928, Kubrick developed an early interest in photography, which eventually led him to become one of the most influential directors of all time. Kubrick's career spanned over four decades, during which he directed iconic films such as 2001 A Space Odyssey, A Clockwork Orange, and The Shining. His movies were known for their technical innovation, psychological depth, and exploration of complex themes. Throughout his career, Kubrick received numerous accolades, including four Academy Award nominations for Best Director. Although he never won an Oscar, his films have been praised by critics and audiences alike, and his influence can still be seen in modern cinema. Kubrick's unique vision and relentless pursuit of perfection have made him a true icon in the world of film. His movies continue to captivate audiences and inspire filmmakers to this day. Join us as we delve into the life and work of this remarkable director. Peter Finch was a British-Australian actor, born in 1916 and passing away in 1977. He gained recognition in various films, including A Town Like Alice and Sunday, Bloody Sunday. Finch stands out for his ability to portray complex characters with depth and authenticity, making him a memorable presence on screen. We'd love to hear about the first time you recognized Peter Finch or any special memories or experiences related to him. Please share your stories in the comments below. Throughout this video, you'll discover many surprising, shocking, and emotional facts about Peter Finch. So, keep watching. Finch's career spanned several decades, and he left an indelible mark on the film industry. His work continues to inspire and entertain audiences today. Peter Finch, born Frederick George Peter Inglee Finch in London, had a diverse upbringing that influenced his successful acting career. His father, George Finch, was a scientist, and his mother, Alicia Gladys, was a nurse. Finch's parents divorced when he was young, and he was raised in Australia by his aunt, an uncle who owned a farm. This rural upbringing gave him a strong connection to nature and animals, which he would later incorporate into his acting. Finch's first exposure to acting came from his aunt, who was involved in local theater productions. He began performing in school plays and quickly discovered a passion for acting. After finishing school, Finch worked as a newspaper reporter and continued to act in amateur theater productions. One of Finch's earliest mentors was the Australian actor and director, Frank Thring. Thring recognized Finch's talent and gave him his first professional acting job in a production of Julius Caesar at the Melbourne Theatre Company. Finch's performance was well received, and he began to gain recognition as a talented actor. Finch's career took off in the 1940s and 1950s, and he became one of the most respected actors in Australia. He worked with some of the biggest names in Australian theatre and film, including Peter Brook and Lawrence Olivier. Finch's performances were known for their intensity and emotional depth, and he quickly gained a reputation as a powerful and compelling actor. In the 1960s, Finch made the move to Hollywood and became one of the first Australian actors to find success in the American film industry. He starred in a number of successful films, including Sunday Bloody Sunday and Network, for which he won the Academy Award for Best Actor. Finch's career was marked by his versatility and his ability to take on a wide range of roles, from dramatic leading men to comedic character actors, Throughout his career, Finch remained committed to his craft and continued to push himself as an actor. He worked with some of the most respected directors and actors in the industry and left behind a legacy of powerful and memorable performances. Finch's influence can still be seen in the work of contemporary actors who continue to be inspired by his dedication, talent, and versatility. Peter Finch was born in London, England in 1916. His family moved to Australia when he was a child and he grew up in Sydney. Finch's mother was a Scottish actress and his father was a businessman. As a child, Finch was interested in acting and performed in school plays. Finch dropped out of school at the age of 17 and worked as a copyboy for a local newspaper. He later became a radio announcer and started acting in radio plays. In the 1930s, Finch joined the Southwood Theatre Company and began performing in stage productions. During World War II, Finch served in the Royal Air Force. After the war, he returned to acting and appeared in several Australian films. In the 1950s, Finch moved to England and began acting in British films. He gained international recognition for his role in the 1960 film The Sundowners. 
Finch's career reached new heights in the 1970s. He starred in the critically acclaimed Film Network and won the Academy Award for Best Actor for his performance. Finch was the first person to win a posthumous Academy Award. Throughout his career, Finch was known for his versatile acting style and his ability to portray complex characters. His early experiences in radio and stage acting shaped his career and helped him develop his unique style. Finch's legacy continues to inspire actors and filmmakers around the world. Peter Finch's passion for acting was ignited during his childhood in England. As a young boy, he was captivated by the magic of storytelling through theater. At the age of 12, he ran away from boarding school to join a traveling theater company where he discovered his love for being on stage. Later, while working as a radio actor in Australia, Finch had a life-changing experience. He was cast in a play called Dead Men Tell No Tales, which required him to portray a wide range of emotions. Finch's powerful performance left a deep impression on the audience and solidified his desire to become a professional actor. Throughout his career, Finch continued to push himself and explore new acting techniques. He was known for his intense preparation and his ability to fully immerse himself in a character. Finch's dedication to his craft earned him critical acclaim and a devoted following. One of Finch's most pivotal roles was in the film Network, for which he won a posthumous Academy Award for Best Actor. In the film, Finch played Howard Beale, a news anchor who becomes a fiery commentator on the state of the world. Finch's portrayal of Beale's descent into madness was both chilling and mesmerizing, and it showcased his incredible range as an actor. Despite facing many challenges throughout his career, including struggles with alcoholism and mental health, Finch never lost his passion for acting. He continued to work tirelessly until his untimely death in 1977, leaving behind a legacy as one of the greatest actors of his generation. Peter Finch is known for his memorable roles in films like Lost Horizon and Network. In Lost Horizon, he starred as Richard Conway alongside fellow Oscar winners George Kennedy and Sir John Gielgud, as well as three Oscar nominees. In Network, Finch's portrayal of Howard Beale earned him a posthumous Oscar, the first given to a performer who died before the awards ceremony. The stage adaptations of Network featured notable actors as well. Michelle Dockery and Tatiana Maslany play Diana, originally portrayed by Faye Dunaway in UK and Us Production, respectively. Brian Cranston took on the role of Howard Beale in Douglas Hinshaw, and Tony Goldwyn played Max Schumacher, originally portrayed by William Holden. Beatrice Strait's Best Supporting Actress Oscar for Network was significant. She was the first person to win an Oscar in a supporting role in a film whose lead actors, Faye Dunaway and Peter Finch, both won Oscars. Finch's impactful performance in Network continues to be recognized and celebrated. Peter Finch, a talented Australian actor, faced numerous challenges in his early career. Born in London in 1916, Finch moved to Australia with his family at a young age. Despite his passion for acting, he struggled financially and even worked as a newspaper reporter to make ends meet. Finch's career took a turn when he joined the Australian Broadcasting Corporation as a radio actor. However, he still faced skepticism from the industry as he was considered an outsider and lacked formal training. Determined to succeed, Finch founded his own theatre company, the Finchley Attic Theatre, where he honed his skills and gained valuable experience. When World War II broke out, Finch served in the Royal Air Force, further delaying his acting career. After the war, he returned to Australia and continued to face industry skepticism. However, his resilience and determination led him to create opportunities for himself. He started appearing in films and quickly gained recognition for his powerful performances. In 1956, Finch moved to Britain, where he faced new challenges in a more competitive industry. Undeterred, he continued to work hard and eventually caught the attention of Hollywood. In 1971, Finch made history as the first Australian to win an Academy Award for his role in Network. Peter Finch's story is a testament to the power of resilience and determination. Despite facing financial struggles and industry skepticism, he never gave up on his dream. Instead, he found creative solutions to overcome these hurdles and pave the way for future Australian actors in Hollywood. Peter Finch holds the unique honor of being the first actor to win a posthumous Oscar for Best Actor in a Leading Role for his portrayal of Howard Beale in the film Network. Interestingly, both Walter Cronkite 
and John Chancellor were approached for the Howard Beale role, but neither was interested. Cronkite's daughter, Kathy, did, however, agree to play the character of Mary Ann Gifford, a role loosely based on Patricia Hearst. Finch studied tapes of Chancellor to develop a TV bland accent for his role. In addition to Network, Finch also starred in the 1973 film Lost Horizon as Richard Conway. Michael Jaston, who was 19 years younger than Finch, was considered for the role of Conway. Finch's portrayal of both characters has left an indelible mark on the film industry, showcasing his versatility and talent as an actor. Peter Finch, an Australian-born actor, had several breakthrough moments in his career. In the 1950s, Finch's role in A Town Like Alice brought him significant recognition, with critics praising his authentic and powerful performance. This role helped establish him as a leading actor in the UK. Later, in 1971, Finch starred in Sunday, Bloody Sunday, a film that delved into complex themes of sexuality and relationships. His portrayal of a gay man in this film was groundbreaking and earned him a BAFTA award. Finch's performance was hailed as a brave and honest depiction, contributing to the growing conversation around LGBTQ rights. However, Finch's most notable breakthrough moment came with his role in the 1976 film Network. His chilling performance as a mentally unstable news anchor, Howard Beale, earned him a posthumous Academy Award for Best Actor, making him the first person to win an Oscar after death. Finch's portrayal of Beale's descent into madness resonated with audiences and critics alike, leaving a lasting impact on the film industry. Director Sidney Lumet, who worked with Finch on Network, praised Finch's ability to fully embody a character, stating, Peter Finch didn't act a part, he lived it. Finch's impact on the film industry is undeniable, with his performances continuing to inspire and influence actors today. Peter Finch was an accomplished actor who worked with many talented individuals throughout his career. In the film The Nun Story, he starred alongside nine other actors who had been nominated for an Oscar. Finch's performance as Dr. Fortunati was well received and added to his growing reputation in the film industry. In The Flight of the Phoenix, Finch worked with five fellow Oscar winners, including James Stewart and Richard Attenborough. The film was a testament to the acting prowess of all involved and showcased Finch's ability to hold his own among the best in the business. Finch's most iconic role came in the film network, where he played the unforgettable character of Howard Beale. Finch's performance was so powerful that he posthumously won the Oscar for Best Actor, making him the first performer to receive such an honor. This achievement solidified Finch's place in film history and cemented his legacy as a talented and impactful actor. Peter Finch, an accomplished actor, had a unique approach to his work. He was known for his intense preparation and ability to fully immerse himself in a character. Finch believed in the power of improvisation and often made unexpected choices in his performances, which added depth and authenticity to his roles. His personal experiences and worldview were often reflected in his work. Finch was born in London and raised in Australia, which gave him a unique perspective on life. He was also known for his interest in social and political issues, which he often incorporated into his characters. Finch's artistic vision was shaped by his belief in the power of truth and authenticity in acting. He once said, The most important thing in acting is to be true to yourself, to be true to the character you are portraying, and to be true to the story you are telling. Finch's approach to acting was methodical and focused. He would spend hours researching and analyzing a character, looking for the small details that would make the character come alive on screen. He was also known for his ability to adapt to different acting styles and genres, which made him a versatile and in-demand actor. In summary, Peter Finch was a unique and talented actor who brought truth and authenticity to his roles. His personal experiences and worldview were reflected in his work, and he was known for his intense preparation and improvisational skills. Finch's artistic vision was shaped by his belief in the power of truth and authenticity in acting, and he left a lasting impact on the world of cinema. Peter Finch holds the record for the most BAFTA Best Film Actor wins, with a total of five awards. Finch's life was marked by an unconventional upbringing, as he was the product of an affair between Alicia Angley Finch and Wentworth Edward Dallas Jock Campbell, a Scottish military officer. His mother was married to George Inglee Finch, an Australian-born mountaineer at the time. Finch didn't meet his mother until he was 33, 
and his natural father until he was 45. During the filming of The Flight of the Phoenix, Finch, along with the cast, caused mayhem in Yuma, Arizona, where the film sets were located. They would drive around at night with prop dummies used during the crash scene, throwing them out of the car to create the illusion of real people. Jimmy Stewart, wary of the European actors, eventually joined in on the fun, taking a prop machine gun and finishing off the dummies gangland style. The police stopped them, but when they discovered it was Jimmy Stewart, they let them go. Directors Robert Aldrich and Stewart had the challenging task of trying to keep Finch sober during filming. Peter Finch, an Australian-born actor, made a significant impact in the film industry, particularly in British and American cinema. He was one of the first actors to achieve success in both Australia and Hollywood. Finch's raw and intense acting style influenced many actors that followed. Finch's career spanned over four decades, and he was known for his versatility, taking on diverse roles that ranged from light comedies to intense dramas. He gained international recognition for his role in A Sunday in Ville d'Avray, which earned him a nomination for the Best Actor Academy Award. However, Finch's most memorable role was in Network, where he played Howard Beale, a news anchor who becomes unhinged on live television. Finch's chilling performance earned him a posthumous Academy Award for Best Actor, making him the first person to win an Oscar after his death. Finch's influence on the industry is still felt today. As stated by actor Michael Douglas, who co-starred with Finch in Network, Peter Finch's performance in Network was groundbreaking and still resonates today. He brought a raw intensity and honesty to his roles that left a lasting impact on the industry. Director Sidney Lumet, who directed Network, also spoke highly of Finch's talent, stating, Peter Finch was a remarkable actor who brought depth and complexity to every role he played. He had a unique ability to convey the subtlest of emotions with a simple look or gesture. His influence on the craft of acting is immeasurable. In addition to his acting prowess, Finch was also a trailblazer for Australian actors in Hollywood. As stated by actor Jeffrey Rush, Peter Finch paved the way for Australian actors in Hollywood. He proved that we could compete on the world stage and inspire future generations of Australian actors to follow in his footsteps. In conclusion, Peter Finch's impact and influence on the film industry are undeniable. His raw and intense acting style, versatility, and trailblazing spirit continue to inspire actors and filmmakers today. Peter Finch's performance in the film, The Nun Story showcased his talent alongside other esteemed actors, including five Oscar winners and four Oscar nominees. His role as Dr. Fortunati was a significant one in a star-studded cast. Later in his career, Finch's portrayal of Howard Beale in the film Network gained widespread recognition. His Mad as Hell speech is ranked as one of the greatest movie characters of all time by Premiere Magazine. The filming of this iconic scene was done in just a few takes, with Finch's exhaustion leading to a unique final product. Director Sidney Lumet used the second half of the first take and the first half of the second take to create the final version of the Mad as Hell speech. Finch's failing heart was unknown to Lumet at the time, and he did not request a third take. The resulting scene has become one of Finch's most memorable and impactful performances. Peter Finch, the esteemed British-Australian actor, led a life that was not solely confined to his professional sphere. Finch was a well-rounded individual who had a deep appreciation for nature, photography, and poetry. These personal values and interests often found their way into his work, adding depth and authenticity to his characters. Finch was a passionate advocate for environmental conservation. He was particularly concerned about the impact of human activities on the natural world and often used his platform to raise awareness about these issues. Finch's love for nature was reflected in his portrayal of the character Patty Button in the film A Town Like Alice, where he played a cattle drover who had a deep respect for the Australian outback. In addition to his love for nature, Finch was also an avid photographer and poet. He often carried a camera with him on set and used photography as a way to capture moments that inspired him. Finch's poetry was deeply personal and reflected his thoughts and feelings about life, love, and the human condition. Philanthropy was an essential part of Finch's life. He was involved in various charitable organizations and causes, including the Save the Children Fund and the National Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Children. Finch's philanthropic efforts were driven by his belief in the importance of giving back to the community and helping those in need. 
One of Finch's most significant philanthropic contributions was his involvement in the creation of the Australian Film Institute. Finch was a founding member of the AFI and served as its first president. He was passionate about promoting Australian cinema and providing a platform for Australian filmmakers to showcase their work. In conclusion, Peter Finch was a multi-talented individual whose personal values and interests informed his work as an actor. His love for nature, photography, and poetry, as well as his philanthropic efforts, were an essential part of his life and left a lasting impact on those around him. Finch's legacy continues to inspire and influence generations of actors and filmmakers around the world. Peter Finch's career included a wide range of roles and accolades. He was not the first choice for the part of Dr. Daniel Hirsch in the film Sunday Bloody Sunday, but after Ian Bannon was fired, Finch stepped in and received his first Best Actor Academy Award nomination for the role. Some believe he lost the award due to a gay kiss in the film. Earlier in his career, Finch played the second leading male in Elephant Walk to Dame Elizabeth Taylor and Dana Andrews. Despite being billed after Andrews, Finch did not get the girl in this film. Finch's career included several notable awards. He won a BAFTA for Best British Actor for A Town Like Alice and a Moscow Film Festival Award for The Trials of Oscar Wilde. In summary, Peter Finch was a talented actor who overcame obstacles in his career to receive several prestigious awards for his performances. Peter Finch, a legendary actor, left a lasting impact on the film industry. His powerful and emotional performances continue to inspire aspiring actors today. Finch's advice for those looking to make their mark in the field is to stay true to yourself and never stop learning. He believed that building a solid foundation of acting techniques and skills was crucial, but also emphasized the importance of bringing your own unique perspective and experiences to each role. Finch encouraged actors to constantly challenge themselves and take on diverse and complex characters. Furthermore, Finch believed that being open to collaboration and being able to work well with others was key to success in the industry. He often spoke about the importance of building relationships with directors, writers, and fellow actors. As for the future, Finch envisioned a thriving and innovative film industry that continues to push boundaries and tell compelling stories. He believed that technology would play a significant role in shaping the future of film, but also felt that the human element of storytelling would always remain at the core. In conclusion, Finch's legacy serves as a reminder that success in the film industry is built on a combination of talent, hard work, and a deep passion for storytelling. Aspiring actors can honor his legacy by staying true to themselves, constantly learning and growing, and always striving to bring something unique and meaningful to their craft. Peter Finch was born to a remarkable lineage, being the natural son of Major Jock Campbell and Alicia Ingley Finch during her marriage to George Ingley Finch an eminent mountaineer from a renowned Australian legal family. Finch directed a 25-minute short film, The Day in 1960, showcasing his early foray into filmmaking. His widow, Eletha Finch, a Jamaican-born woman, graciously accepted his Oscar posthumously at the Academy Awards ceremony, a testament to Finch's enduring impact on the film industry. Peter Finch was a British-Australian actor who found his passion for performing at a young age. He started his career in Australia before moving to Hollywood, where he quickly made a name for himself with his powerful and intense performances. Finch was known for his versatility and ability to take on a wide range of roles, from dramatic leads to comedic turns. Throughout his career, Finch pushed the boundaries of acting and brought a fresh and innovative approach to his craft. He was not afraid to take risks and was always looking for new ways to challenge himself and his audience. Finch's groundbreaking performance in the Film Network earned him a posthumous Academy Award, making him the first actor to win an Oscar after his death. Finch's impact on the entertainment industry is still felt today. His passion, innovation, and commitment to his craft continue to inspire actors and filmmakers around the world. His legacy serves as a reminder of the power of creativity and perseverance, and the importance of taking risks and pushing boundaries in order to make a lasting impact. In the end, Finch's journey is a testament to the power of following one's passion and never giving up, even in the face of adversity. His enduring impact on the entertainment industry is a reminder that with hard work, dedication, and a little bit of innovation, anyone can leave their mark on the world. Let's take a moment to discuss the remarkable career of the late Peter Finch. 
a legendary actor who left an indelible mark on the film industry. Finch was known for his versatile performances in a variety of genres, from drama to comedy. One of his most iconic roles was in the film Network, where he played Howard Beale, a news anchor who becomes a popular figure after having a mental breakdown on air. Finch's powerful and emotional performance in this film earned him a posthumous Academy Award for Best Actor, making him the first person to win an Oscar after their death. Finch's career spanned over four decades, and he appeared in numerous memorable films, including Sunday, Bloody Sunday, The Dresser, and A Town Like Alice. His ability to fully embody each character he played, bringing them to life in a way that was both captivating and authentic, is a true testament to his talent and dedication as an actor. As we reflect on Finch's legacy, we invite you to share your thoughts on his work and impact in the comments below. We would love to hear about your favorite Peter Finch performances and how they have resonated with you. If you enjoyed this content, please be sure to like and share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more celebrations of the creative spirits shaping entertainment. Together, let's continue to honor and appreciate the incredible talent and contributions of actors like Peter Finch 